In this video, I want to show you some really affordable books that you can buy, and you can use these books to learn tons of different subjects. You can learn math, physics, chemistry, biology, all kinds of stuff with these books. These books are part of what's called the Shams Outline series. This is a series that has been around for a while, so several of my books are really old, and a couple of them are newer. If you are taking a course, I always recommend to pick up the Shams for that course if you can find it. Typically in a Shams outline, you'll find more content than what's actually covered in a college level course, which makes it an extremely good source of practice problems and examples. So this is the Shams outline on combinatorics, including concepts of graph theory. I bought this when I was taking a combined course in college called Combinatorics and Graph Theory. And this book is great. It's got tons of examples of counting problems, and it's got good examples for the graph theory problems as well. And I like that a lot of the examples are worked, and this is something that you'll notice in all of the Shams outlines, is that they have fully worked examples in each of the sections. Not all Shams outlines are created equal, and this one is a little bit better than the other ones, I think. This is the one on general topology, and the reason that I like this particular Shams over a lot of the other ones is because this one is very, very standard. So if you're taking a topology course and you need a reference, you're gonna find what you're looking for in this book. When I took topology, I used a book called Elements of Topology by Baum, and it was a pretty good book, but it wasn't as standard as this one. I feel like this has way more material and it had a lot of concepts that weren't in my book. So. Awesome book if you're taking topology. This is the discrete math Shams outline, so this is perfect for anyone who's obviously taking discrete mathematics. And this one is very standard. So if you're taking a discrete math class, maybe you're a computer science major, you can pick this up and you can find topics that are being covered in your class. There's a lot of overlap between the Shams, by the way. Like a lot of the topics you'll see in the discrete math Shams, you'll find in the finite math Shams, and you'll find in the set theory shams, and you'll find in the combinatoric shams. In any case, I collect math books, so I think it's better to have them all. This is one of the thicker shams out there. Look how thick this is. Pretty thick. You'll also notice the blue cover. This is an older edition. And this is the one on statistics. I've actually used this for self-study. So I bought this just because um, I found it for sale at a good price, and I thought, let me pick it up. I don't have it yet. And the pages are really like old and yellow. Yeah, it smells really good. I can smell it from here. I'm just gonna give it a whiff. Oh yeah, nothing like an old Shams outlines. Really nice. All kinds of topics in this and all kinds of really interesting problems. And this is an old book. So this was created before, you know, people used, you know, software for stats. So everything in this book is done by hand. This is the Shams outline on group theory. And I remember buying this when I was a graduate student because I wanted to learn more abstract algebra. And this is one of my many abstract algebra books. It's on group theory. And my fondest memory of this one was referencing it when I was looking up um, solvable groups. And that's a topic that you can't really find uh, in all math books, but this one um, did have that topic. It's got a lot of topics in group theory that you won't find in just a regular abstract algebra book. So it makes it a good choice for anyone learning abstract algebra. Many people think that the Shams outlines on complex variables is the best one in existence. This can pretty much replace a complex variables textbook. That's how good it is. It's very, very standard. If you're taking a complex variables class, you're gonna find everything you need in this book and you can learn from it, right? These books, you know, they're meant for self-study. They're meant for students who are trying to learn on their own, but you can read this on your own and actually learn the material and go through, do the examples, do the exercises, and become really good at complex variables. Obviously, it's going to take a lot of time and effort and energy. Mathematics is not an easy subject, but this is one of the better ones out there. It's got tons of examples, and it just goes along really well with what you're going to learn in a college level course on complex variables. Definitely, probably one of the best Shams outlines out there. This one's a really funny color. This is the Shams outline on geometry and this is the second edition. And I got this used somewhere. It looks like I got it for $5.
It's probably a little bit more if you get it new, but yeah. So this one's on geometry and it's got, let me just show you the contents really quickly. So here's the contents. So just basic geometry concepts. So really useful if you're trying to have a geometry reference or you're actually taking a geometry class. Pretty cool. Here's another one that's really good. This is the Shams outline on differential equations. And I've used this as a source of examples. I would say that the examples in this are pretty decent. Um, the contents are very standard. You'll find, you know, everything you find in a differential equations course, you'll find in here. And in fact, you'll find more. Uh, I taught differential equations for several years and, you know, I feel like there's way more content in this book than anything that I would cover in one of my classes. I don't think it would be possible for me to cover all of this content in a one semester course without like confusing the entire class because it is so much material. That being said, it will not confuse you. You can see I've done some of the problems here. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Random page and apparently I've, I've done this one. So yeah, great book for learning differential equations. This is the Shams for Physics for Engineering and Science. And this one has 788 fully worked problems. And this is a good Shams. I bought this a long time ago when I was taking physics and I used it a little bit as a source of extra problems. So if you need extra physics problems or extra help with explanations or just different explanations of a lot of the concepts in physics, this one is going to have probably what you need. Here's one I think that is especially useful. This is the linear algebra Shams. And this one is useful because it has a lot of techniques that you won't find in every linear algebra book. Again, if you're looking for something, it's probably going to be in this book. Um, this is one of the better ones. I've referenced it quite a bit, especially for computational things. Let's see the topics there, vector spaces, linear mappings, linear mappings and matrices, inner product spaces, orthogonality. So all the standard topics, diagonalization, canonical forms, Jordan canonical form, that's one that people always have a hard time with. It's hard to find examples, but you can find examples in this book that's one of the things I used it heavily for when I was learning that. Yeah, pretty cool Shams. This is the Shams on partial differential equations. And I feel like there's a lot of partial differential equations books, but they're not all amazing. And this one is okay. I'm, I'm not gonna say it's an amazing Shams. I'm gonna say it's okay. And the reason I'm gonna say it's okay is because I bought this when I was taking partial differential equations and I felt like I felt like the book I was using was actually better than this. So still, I'm happy I bought it. It's worth buying if you're taking partial differential equations, but it's definitely not on the same level as like the complex variable Shams or the topology Shams. Let me just show you some of the topics so you can see if it's worth picking up. So if you're taking a PDE class, which is partial differential equations, and you're doing some of these topics, which you probably are, it's worth picking up, especially since they're so affordable. Yeah, pretty cool. This is the Shams on analytical chemistry. I'm gonna open it up so you can see the contents. So it starts with analytical and mathematical review, statistics and probabilities, free energy and chemical equilibrium, strong acids and strong bases, simple weak acids and weak bases, weak acid or weak base titrations. Yeah. A lot of material here. So don't let the name fool you. This is called the Shams Outline on Advanced Calculus, but it, it really isn't like an advanced calculus book. Um, it's going to have some proofs and it's going to have a lot of topics, but it has a lot of computational examples, which is fine. But I think that when most people, you know, they go online or they go to a bookstore and, and they buy this book, they're thinking, hey, I'm taking advanced calculus, this book, is gonna help me in advanced calculus. I would say yes, it is, it does have some good proofs, but it's a little bit different than an actual textbook. It's very, very thick. And let me just show you the topics on this one. So I do think it's worth getting though. I do think it's worth getting. So numbers, sequences, functions, limits, and continuity, derivatives, integrals, partial derivatives, vectors, applications of partial derivatives, multiple integrals, 
line integrals, surface integrals, and integral theorems, infinite series, and proper integrals, Fourier series. So a lot of good topics, you know, a lot of good mathematics in this book. It's just compared to like a regular advanced calculus book, like if you compare this to like Rudin's book, you're going to find that this has much easier problems than you would find in a book like Rudin's. So still worth getting though. Again, it's the Shams on advanced calculus. Here we have the Shams outline on probability and statistics. And this is one of the thicker Shams outlines. Look how thick that is. Super thick. It's got a really good smell. And I love the older Shams because they have a smell, but one of the downsides to older versions of Shams outline is that the pages are very, very delicate. They will break very easily. So um, keep that in mind if you do get an older copy. Um, I have a lot of newer copies as well because I have torn old copies of Shams. So here are the topics on this one. So sets and probability. Let me zoom in there so you can see. Random variables and probability distributions. This is a really good one, by the way. I've done some problems from this one. Mathematical expectation, special probability distributions, sampling theory, estimation theory, test of hypothesis and significance, curve fitting, regression and correlation, and analysis of variance. Here we have another Shams outline. This is the one on applied physics. Let me just show you the contents briefly on this one. This one's an older edition, I believe. Starts off with useful math. I love the title of that chapter. <laughs> Vectors, motion in a straight line, motion in a vertical plane, laws of motion, friction, energy, momentum, circular motion and gravitation, rotational motion, cool, equilibrium, simple machines, elasticity, simple harmonic motion, waves and sound, fluid at rest, all kinds of stuff in this one. Fluids in motion, heat. I'm just gonna pan through just so you can see all the topics, right? It's broken up really, really well. It's got a lot of physics in this book. Wow, look at this. Just in insane. So much physics. And then you have tons of solved problems and examples throughout the book to help you learn. This is the Shams on finite mathematics. This one covers logic, set theory, vectors, matrices, probability and Markov chains, linear programming, and game theory. So again, there's a lot of overlap between, you know, this one and the discrete math one, but I'll just show you the contents briefly so you can see what's covered. So there's a coffee stain there. Might as well get that in the video. I think that's coffee. It's not my stain. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. And here's the rest of the topic. So quite a bit of content uh, in this finite math Shams. I actually have two copies of the Shams outline on geometry. So why do I have two copies? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, we've talked about this one already, so I'm just gonna skip it and go to the next book. So this is actually also part of the Shams series. This one is 3000 solved problems in physics. That's right, 3000 problems. I'm just gonna open it up so you can see all of the problems and they actually you know, solve all of these physics problems for you. So it's just an awesome way to learn physics because you have this book and it's just got, you know, 3,000 problems uh, in physics, which is pretty insane. And it's pretty insane that you have so much. Let me just show you the contents really quickly so you can see. I'll just pan through it quickly. So pretty much everything you need. If you're taking a physics class, this is going to have, you know, stuff that's related to what you're learning in your class. It's going to have examples that will help you learn the concepts that you are learning in class. I mean, so many problems. I've done some of the problems from this book, but not even close to all of them, right? There's just so many. It's pretty cool. And if you wanna learn chemistry, you can get this one, 3000 Solved Problems in Chemistry. Again, super thick book, also part of the Shams outline. And so again, you just get tons of worked problems in chemistry. I'm just gonna show you the contents really quickly. So if you're taking a chemistry class, definitely something that is going to help you and they work out all of the problems and the detail varies uh, from one problem to another. Like, you know, they're just work problems like you would see in a regular textbook. I wouldn't say, you know, they do like an exceptional job or a bad job. I would say it's about average. You know, this is a textbook that actually has just 3000 solved problems. This is the Shams on college physics. So this is just a regular Shams outline, but it's for college physics. So it's a little bit different than the one uh, that's for engineers, physics for engineers. 
And let me just show you the contents so you can see them really quickly. So it's all the physics stuff that you would normally see, but it's college physics instead of physics for engineers. Let me just come over here and show you this page here. So if you're taking college physics, it's going to be in this book. In fact, uh, like the other Shams, you know, all the stuff you see in this book is way more than what you would see in any college level class. You're just getting way more content in these books. People always have a really hard time with organic chemistry and I think that the Shams outline on organic chemistry is a good solution. And again, just a warning about picking up older editions. You can see I tore um, this copy of this Shams outline. That was me, I did that. So yeah, that's the problem with getting old ones. So maybe, maybe get a new copy. I'll try to leave links in the description. Let me just briefly show you the contents here. So if you're taking organic chemistry, it's going to be in this book. Like whatever you're looking for, it's going to be here. That's something that you can pretty much almost always get from a Shams. Not always, but most Shams will have whatever you're looking for if you're taking a class and you buy the Shams for that class. That is the whole point of Shams, right? Is that you have some content in the book that will actually help you, um, you know, in your class. Now, sometimes the explanations won't be as good. Sometimes the examples aren't the examples you need, but I still think it's worth having, especially for the price. Perhaps not a very popular book, but this is the one on microeconomic theory. So Shams even has a book on economics. Just gonna open it up and show you the contents. This one's pretty cool. I've read portions of this just for fun. I've actually never taken a class on economics and I wanted to learn a little bit about it. So I decided I should get the Shams outline on economics. And the reason I bought this one is because um, it's a Shams, right? So it's just a little bit different than a regular book. Let me just show you the layout. So you know, it gives you some examples here. Here's chapter three, the measurement of elasticities. So it's got like a little intro and then it's got an example, you see. So it's just a really nice layout. The, the layout of the Shams is nice. They have like, you know, definitions, introductions, conceptual things, and then they just jump to the examples and they jump from one topic to the next. They're really brief on each topic. And then when you go to the exercises, those topics are reinforced again. This is the Shams on modern physics. And I actually bought this when I was taking modern physics. So modern physics was basically like physics three uh, for me when I took that in college. And for me, this was the best physics class. This is the one I got the highest grade in. I thought it was, it was the most interesting physics class. Um, physics one and two were really fun and I, I did good. Um, I didn't get an A, I think I got Bs in both. But physics three, which is considered modern physics, uh, that's, that's the one I got an A in. And I thought this book was pretty cool. It's got a lot of really good, a lot of really good examples. This is the Shams on set theory and related topics. And again, this one's very similar to like the discrete math one and the finite math one and the combinatorics and graph theory one. They have similar topics uh, oftentimes. They start with sets and basic operations on sets, sets and elementary properties of the real numbers, relations, functions, further theory of sets and functions, cardinal numbers. So you get some other topics like that that you won't find in the other ones. Cardinal numbers, I don't know if that appears in some of the other uh, shams. Ordinal numbers, ordered sets and lattices, and the axiom of choice, Zorn's lemma, and the well-ordering theorem. And then you get some propositional calculus and some Boolean algebra, pretty cool. So those are some of my books from the Shams Outline series. And I'll try to leave links in the description to all of these books. And again, these are great books to use as a supplement if you're taking a class and also for self-study. They all have really short, simple explanations and examples following those explanations. And then they have exercises which reinforce those concepts and they have answers to those exercises. So they make a great resource if you're trying to learn math, physics, chemistry, statistics, economics, biology, pretty much I think any math and science you can probably find Shams. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.